Hi everyone, it's Hany from Anielans. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make these adorable owl cookies. They are so cute, I love them. And um, you can decorate them in, he in Halloween colors like I did. Or you can use other colors. I actually made these cookies for a bake sale for Gobo Foundation. Please go to their website and check it out. Also follow, you can also follow them on Facebook cookies I made here they are my honey cookies and to make get the shape I used a cauldron cookie cutter I'm gonna show you I made two different styles one is without and one is with the wings this one is with the wings and I used a small cutter to kind of construct this cookie and then um, you can bake them and we are ready to decorate them now I'm gonna show you how to decorate both styles both styles have the same uh, style of eyes so I'm just gonna show you how to make the eyes. For the eyes I would recommend that you use some bright colors like orange, yellow, white is okay, purple, blue would be really really cool. I would avoid using dark um, gray or black. Once you do the eyes you have to let it dry and then we can uh, take the airbrush and start airbrushing. For the airbrushing I'm gonna use black and brown food coloring. For the bright colors like this yellow one I'm using black and you just want to airbrush the top part a little darker than the bottom. And then if you're doing white icing you want to airbrush all around the edge of the icing with, uh, with brown airbrush food color. Alright so now I'm gonna show you how to make this cookie that you see there or that, that shape. You'll see the colors will change a little bit uh, during the video. So first thing I'm just gonna ice this portion and then you can add dots or you could do zigzag lines, you could add little tiny hearts and then you have to let this crust and then uh, well right after you can add the black and then you have to let it crust and then we can flat the whole cookie. These are honey cookies, so they are not completely flat, so you want to go a little further from the edge so you don't overflow. Or if you're not um, certain, you can also use piping icing. This way you'll create some kind of a border so when you flat icing won't overflow. Or when you are using 15 second icing, you can outline, let it crust for 10 minutes and then flood. That way you you know you're preventing your icing overflowing, and then once you ice the whole cookie, you have to let it dry, and then we could add a branch. I'm using white icing. You could also use brown icing, and then using a clean painter's brush, just give it a look of a tree or a bark, and then you can add details like peak and a uh, little bit of definition in the ear and then the wings it's very very simple but really cute I think they turned out really nice so that's how you make the first style and then you can finish it off with painting of the log with brown first you wanna paint it with even layer and then give it a little more detail with some darker brown so now I'm going to show you how to make the cookie with the wings. So you want to start with the wings, ice the wings, and then you can add the dots. I'm adding dots because I wanted to connect two different shapes. So as you remember, we, made, we added dots to the previous cookie. So adding dots to this one, it kind of binds them together. And you could play different colors on. You don't have to do yellow. You could add white, orange darker orange, lighter orange, whatever you want. And then you have to let this crust again for about 15 minutes and then you can outline and flood the whole cookie. And once it's all flooded you have to let it dry again. And then we can add the branch like we did in a previous cookie. then the claws and the peak
All right, finishing up here. And that's how you make owl cookies using a cauldron cookie cutter. So I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to give it thumbs up, subscribe, and you'll get all the video updates delivered to you via email. Thanks for watching.